Video 2. Uh, when the main SpyBot uh, interface loads, we have check for problems. That'll go ahead and do your scan. You can go ahead and recover something that you didn't want to delete. And you can search for updates, which I've already done. Uh, if we go through the list over here, we have Immunize. It says, Immunization requires the following browsers must be closed. We'll go ahead and close Internet Explorer. It says, Immunization allows you to take preventative measures against spyware by uh, spyware by using methods inside your browsers so kind of protects your browsers there are a hundred and eighty one immunizations hundred eighty one thousand immunizations so far I'll go ahead and immunize Spybot really, in my opinion, they really needed to change up this interface. It's really dated looking. I know they've made some improvements with these buttons and things, but um, it would be nice if they could kind of update it. Okay, it's still going here. I'm going to let it finish, and I'll pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, so my browser has been immunized. Um, beyond that, you have the update button, and if you want to go ahead and donate to uh, these guys, go ahead. After years and years and years of them cleaning your computer, you should donate something. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click the search and destroy button. It's as simple as checking for problems. Now, we're in regular mode. I'm assuming from past experience that I'll have to go into safe mode to clean some stuff. So we may have to do that. Anyway, um, you can see it's running a check. And what I'm going to do is just pause it until we get back or until something happens, a uh, reboot or I don't know, whatever. I'm going to pause it for now. Okay, um, it came to a certain point in the scan where it's trying to run a check on virtuemonday.dll and it says it is recommended that you reboot and scan again if you want to do this click yes save all documents and reboot and I've already done this before because um, I kinda pre-checked this out and no matter how many times I scan and reboot it always comes up on virtualmonday.dll so I'm gonna say uh, no and we're just going to plow through it and see if it does anything else, see if it actually finishes. It is advancing ahead, but I'm not sure if it's uh, doing anything. I can't remember. So I'm going to go ahead and let it keep scanning, and uh, we'll check back in uh, as soon as I see something else. All right. That scan seemed like it took forever, but it's done. 42 minutes, 27 seconds, 426 problems found. I'll go ahead and hit uh, Fix Selected. It says you're about to remove these entries. Do you want to continue? Yes. You can see it's terminating stuff down here in real time. whole lot of cursor flashing going on here as it's removing things. And we're starting to get some check marks now. 
fact, we got quite a few up here. I guess I'll go ahead and pause it while it's finishing up. Be right back. Um, it actually just finished really quick, so. It says some problems could not be fixed. Um, they're still in memory. This could be fixed after a restart. Doesn't say they will be. Could be. Uh, may SpyBot run on your next system startup? Sure. So 417 problems fixed. Nine problems could not be fixed. Let's see what those nine were. We've got some Win32 BHO. Uh, virus heat could not be fixed. Uh, some U Defender, System Defender. Uh, a lot of the rogues can't be fixed. Antivirus 2008 could not be fixed. And. That's about it. So I'm um, going to go ahead and reboot and we'll let it scan. I'll be right back. So what, this is what the uh, the little boot up scanner looks like. Um, it starts right as your computer, right before you log in basically. And you can see it's running through all of its stuff right now. And it's giving it an estimated finish time of 37 minutes. So I'll go ahead and pause it and we'll come back and see the result.